How do you feel? I'm hungry. Hungry? So, we are just a few hours before leaving Toronto and like completely leaving this uh, place where we've been for uh, three years and... and... <laughs> That's like what, three years and a half or...? Yeah, three and a half years. It feels weird, at least for me. I feel a bit sad. I feel like the last two days I've been like re-questioning myself on why are we doing that? Why are we leaving this place where we were happy? Why are we changing everything? So a bit of a breakup syndrome kind of like you hate it and then, and the day you leave it you're like oh why? Um, but I guess in a few days I will remember why. But for now it's a bit of a bitter taste and sad a little. Yeah, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I guess also we are very, very tired. So I feel like our emotions are touchable, like they're... Showing. Yeah, they're showing, they're uh, very intense. Uh, we've been picking at each other uh, a lot. <laughs> I guess it's mostly because we're tired. Plus the fact that we're leaving the cats and this. I still have a hard time to... Tell how you feel. I just want to go, honestly. I want to see the place empty, I want to be in my van, and I want to hit the road. I know the cats are going to be fine because we found great people to take care of them this year or in the upcoming year while we're away. They're in their environment, they know the place, we're leaving most of our furniture, so it's not like it's a brand new environment or smells that they have to get used to. I, yeah, I just, I just want to go, honestly. <laughs> and I know it's going to be great on the road, and even if it's challenging, we can still adjust. It's the beauty of that lifestyle, is that we can adapt and adjust anytime because we're in our home, and if we want to turn back, we can. If we want to stay at some place and wait a bit because we don't feel like traveling, we can. It's going to be very flexible and we're going to see amazing things. Amazing things. And uh, yeah, let's do it. But first, let's eat. Breakfast. <laughs> First step, <laughs> let's have a second part of the journey. First step of today is done, getting everything out of the house, out of the apartment. And now, getting everything out of the van and into the storage. Not everything, putting stuff in the van also. Yes. Sorting. Sorting, yeah. Because right now our entire life is in the back of the van. <laughs> and we need to shed some weight before we leave. But it's done. Yep. The uh, owner for a year of the apartment had the keys. The cat's neighbors have the keys. Not roommates. neighbors, roommates. roommates. The cat's roommates have the keys. Uh, the cats, we say our goodbye. And I still get emotional. <laughs> oh, no, I really get emotional. Um, okay. And I hope we're going to find our, our cats in our home um, in a year. We will see if we still want it, but for the cats, we will still want them, that's for sure. So officially, we don't have access to the parking where we park the van anymore. We no longer have keys to an apartment. We no longer have a dedicated parking spot. So I guess that means we're officially living in a van. <laughs> we are, uh, some people could call that homeless, but actually our home is always with us. Yep, we're like tiny snails. <laughs> Yay! Well, big snails. Uh, but I don't, I eat snails. I don't want to be a snail. I'm like a turtle. A what? A turtle. A turtle. A turtle? A turtle. A turtle? A turtle. A turtle? A turtle? All right, a turtle. We have a turtle. So, we are at the storage, starting to emptying the van of all the stuff that's gonna stay in the storage. Here, how is the van? And what are we doing with him? 
Storage, or are we keeping him with us? Careful. <laughs> Careful what you say about my dog. <laughs> dog comes. Am I going to stick to the storage? If you keep up like that, <laughs> who knows? Who knows what's going to happen to you? <laughs> it's a huge mess. Yeah. Yeah. We have a good couple of hours. But it was a moving truck before, so I guess it's just serving again its purpose. Yes, that's true. So that now, true. time to empty everything! about to leave the storage for at least for good no for at least five months uh, because we might be back in August to switch maybe clothes or something we'll see so this is how the van look like right now it's kind of completely sorted and everything is at its right place except for bathroom stuff here that still need to be put underneath there or underneath the bed and a bunch of miscellaneous stuff here that needs to find a place so here what we have are summer clothes clothes that are really really for good weather and very hot weather and there is no point on storing them right now so it's gonna go under the storage into those bags so usually those bags you use a vacuum and it uh, shrank it and, and take less room but we don't have a vacuum first and it's okay if it's not like shrinked we have enough room underneath and I'm gonna show you the underneath of the bed the garage section so the garage section has, as you might remember, all the electrical and all the water system. So this is what is happening in the back. So don't mind all the bags on top. Yeah, so all that are stuff that we're giving away. So we're going to do that now in order to store this right there. For now, Tongi is filling the water tank with water from the storage facility. It takes a while. <laughs> Our tank was really empty and it's quite big actually. In three quarters done for now. How long would you say? Like 10 minutes, 15 minutes? I think, so. I think we can expect 15 minutes. Depending of the um, on how empty our tank is and on the pressure of the, the pressure water, of the source. Yeah. And this is just the water tank for now, and we are gonna turn on the pump after to fill up the water heater as well. So it's gonna have a reserve of water in there. That's the water heater. Yeah, this time. And so we might need to add some more water again after just a tiny bit. So this is our, how many gallons? 20 gallons? I think it's 20 gallons. Yeah. So this is our 20 gallons um, tank. And this is an additional 20 liters. Which is, I have no idea how like many Like it's maybe five gallons or something like that? It is five US gallons, yeah. yeah. So tw uh, 20 gallons here, five gallons, gallon uh, safety. So this is our safety net, it means yes. that if we use everything that is here and we are somewhere with no water right away and we really need it, this is our safety. And this is uh, 2.5 gallons, I think. 
and so this is some extra water. So in total, I say we have about 27 gallons of water that we can use, which is pretty good. Okay, so we are about to leave in a minute or two, but we're checking all our to-do list to be sure that we didn't forget to do something. That but requires the storage. Yeah, because uh, Tongi has a, a, a few tools. I brought a few tools, yeah. So it will allow him to do any type of like small project, decor, stuff like nothing very Just, essential. We but... have a few things to hang in the van and I can do that on the road easily. I don't need the storage or anything. So. And those tools are also very important uh, because in case there is something that breaks or need repair, at least we will have some basic tools. So we're gonna do a check on our to-do list and... Then we'll be on our way, hopefully. Yeah. For good.